What's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. You're going to be super stoked about this one. I'm really excited. It is by the company Panasonic. Panasonic is a big name. Panasonic delivers great products and I'm expecting big things from the Panasonic Home Hawk Window Color Night Vision Home Monitoring Camera. They do make it in a white and black color and just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box below is going to be the link where you can pick this up yourself read more about it. I'm excited about this one. The reason I am excited about this one is that it sticks up in your window, no mounting on the outside. You literally can just put it up on the interior portion of your window to shine out of your window to the exterior of your house, your backyard, your side yard. We're going to give you full examples. Don't worry about that one. And what's really sweet is this works with your Amazon, I'm gonna say the trigger word, Alexa device, and your Google Assistant as well. So that's really sweet. If you have the capable means of telling your device to show you on your device, if you have an Echo Show or a Google device right next to you, you can speak and say, hey, show me what's outside. Now it works with the HomeHawk app, and this camera is a wireless connection to your home's router. It still needs an electronic outlet to plug into, but once it is plugged into, again, it mounts up into the window with the suction cups. You can do 24 seven recording on a micro SD card and it has person detection and you can go ahead and modify your settings in the app for your notification settings. And the quality is gonna be full 1080p HD. Without further ado, let's get it out of the box. We'll download the app. We're gonna run through the test runs. Let's get it out. All right, let's get it out of the box and see what she looks like here. Quick start guide here, follow these steps our user manual here. And then coming over here is gonna be our power cable here. Let me go ahead and open this up, get you a guesstimated length on that cable. And the cable is about a guesstimation, eight to 10 foot cable, nice and long for your needs there. All right, coming in the box here is going to be our camera. We're gonna to get to that portion in just a second here. And we also have housing cover here. That's gonna do it for the box there. So we have our little Panasonic cover here, and I'll go ahead and cover up a little bit of information just in case it is attached to your own camera, the serial number, QR code reader on the back here. But as we can see here, remove camera, two steps. The directions will, of course, tell you all about that. Our suction cup right on the top here. And again, this is five volt, 1.5 amp. And over here on this side is gonna be our setup and reset button there with our micro SD card slot right up here. Let's go ahead and remove this so we can kind of see it a little bit better here. As we can see, there is our suction cup right there for our window, nice and flat. And our Panasonic cover, of course, goes over the back side of it once it is installed with our camera lens right there. All right, now the suction cup, which will definitely hold, but if you want a permanent spot for it, then go ahead and follow the directions here, attaching the double-sided tape on the brackets here and here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the suction cup there. Just make sure you clean your window and follow the instructions. I have also inserted my micro SD card inside the slot. I will go ahead and link that in the description box below as well. We're gonna go ahead and download the app. And you also have cable ties with double sticky tape on the back of that for cable management for your cord. All right, guys, we have it up on the window here. And I'm just covering up the serial number once again. Again, you have to see this shot. It is crystal clear and beautiful. Let's go ahead and put on the back plate now that we have this thing all set up in the app. So this is what it looks like with the back plate on. You can still see the LED light through it. That back plate makes it look very professional and crisp as we can see there. And remember, you do have a long cable, but of course you can use an extension cable if needs be, but that cable is long enough to reach whatever outlet you need. And so again, with the wide angle, we're just on one panel of glass here, but it shows so much. The camera view angle is gonna be 150 degrees diagonal. Horizontal is 121 degrees. Vertical is 63 degrees, giving this beautiful wide angle picture, even on the window, not able to see the borders of the window panels, which is absolutely fantastic. Full 1080p, we have it on right now, 30 frames per second. And this camera works off of 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz wireless connection. We like that, folks. And 
also in the settings, you actually can turn off that LED status indicator light here if you do not want that on. Once you turn that off, that will go off, so you will not see any blue, red, or green lights at all, but when it is fully connected, that is blue, steady blue. Also, as you learn about your camera, sometimes we do skip the instructions. Now, this basic right here, we go ahead and push on basic, and it will show you the different mode selections. Basic will not auto record. It will only show you live view, and that will actually tell you that before you get to this area here. We have 24 seven recording. You can also do protection, or you can create your other one here. Now here are some useful information. You might wanna pause this so that you guys can go ahead and determine what is better for you. Sometimes if you don't want notifications at work, you can hit basic so you, that you only can see the, the live view and it won't auto record, won't send you notifications. You can switch over to protection and protection will send notifications when motion is detected. I'm gonna go ahead and do that as we can see living room. As we can see the notification popped up just a second ago for living room. I did also raise it to the highest sensitivity. There is the tree right out front, so we might have to lower that sensitivity now. Here we are here, so let's go ahead and see what is in playback here as it is loading. And it just took a second to load there, and it looks like we have about 30 seconds of recording, and it might have been just a little bit of the tree. Again, that tree is right out front of the window, but let's go ahead and see here. Yep, as we can see there to your kind of middle right, there's a few branches swing. So we probably will have to lower that down to normal so we don't get false notifications. Or, of course, switch over to basic, which you would not be disturbed with false notifications. Or again, you can X out all those squares so that tree will not affect our notifications. You can go ahead and delete that video if you want to, free up space on your memory card. So you might wanna pause this and check out these specifications. These are pretty important for purchasing a micro SD card. Now, if you purchased a four, I won't go through all these. As you can see here, this is all of the recording recording time to the card before it starts loop recording. And what's nice is that this camera actually can take up to a one terabyte card. That is absolutely fantastic. I've never actually reviewed a camera that, that can take up to a one terabyte card. Normally it is about a 128 max, maybe a 256. The color night vision is five meters, 16 feet. Pre-recording, it actually starts to begin two seconds before the camera's motion sensor activates the recording process. Now something to keep in mind is that this camera does not have two-way audio. It does not have a speaker or a microphone, so there will be no sound. And here is your power consumption with your operating conditions. I think I guesstimated that about a 10-foot cord, eight to 10, and I was almost right. It is nine feet, 10 and 1 8 inch with a gross weight of 0.29 pounds, which is very light. So look how dark the street is. And then when I pull up, you're gonna see the difference. It's absolutely phenomenal. So here I am right behind the uh, bush, the tree, I should say. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull on in now. As you can see there, you can see the tail lights. I'm gonna go ahead and have to three point turn it here. And coming up the driveway and our security light might click on you. There it goes there. But looking absolutely great. Let's go ahead and zoom on in. And you can digitally zoom in. Now check out this clear, crisp night shot. Absolutely stunning. No window reflection at all being able to permeate out into the night color, night vision. That's something that Panasonic has said, that there will be no window reflection because it is, of course, mounted on the inside. We saw how dark it was and look at what it looks like on the camera. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at the app a little bit closer and forgive our blue skies. Unfortunately, we have some fires in the area. But with that said, this app has some really sweet features to it and I wanna discuss those features with you. So right below the shot in the left, you're gonna see a camera. You hit that camera button and it would take a snapshot saved to your camera roll. The one next to it, the record button, that would save a manual recorded video. Let's say something is happening live as you're viewing it and you wanna record it. If you flip the camera over to landscape mode or your tablet, then it would actually fill up your entire phone or tablet in the landscape mode there. You can extend that. Right below, you're gonna have some filters for person motion manual or protected with your view time down below. You can show all and you can rename the camera as well. Let's go to the settings menu and check out some sweet features here. Now here in camera settings, this is where you can rename your camera 
here under name, and that's what would trigger your Google Home device or Amazon device for the trigger word being able to use it with your device. Signal strength is right there, and let's click on video. Video would be able to show you resolution. I have it set on 1080p. You click on that, and you have the option of going 720 or 480. Depending on your internet connection, you might want to play around with that if you are having some lag time. Frame rate per second, we have 30 frames, 25, and 15 frames per second. You can mess around with your brightness, HDR on or off, and bitrate level icon on or off. Now recorded settings here is you have the option of time stamping it on or off, 24 hour format on or off. Coming back over here to overwrite recording, which would be loop recording once the memory card fills up, it would loop back around and record. I would recommend a higher memory card than I have, 32 gig, and you can also format your SD card there. Coming back to the settings here, we have notification settings, recording error on or off, mode change on or off, and then coming back to a really sweet feature is detection. Detection a sensitivity, let's go ahead and look at this first. High, no more, low, or very low, and you hit okay after that. Play around with that if you are getting notification misfires, but this set detection area is where the really cool feature comes into play. So as you can see, we've actually saw a couple of the green squares fire up. See right there, you see some green squares firing up. That is detecting motion right there. It is a little bit windy outside here. As you can see, there is detection right here. Person detection coming up to the door there. That's a really cool feature. So if you do not want a certain area detected, then you start checking off the boxes here. So let's say this tree is getting in the way. Let's go ahead and start Xing off of this tree here and we just exit all off, and so that would not be detected anymore. So that tree would not give us false notifications if those branches are swaying in the wind. You hit set, etc. Let's say I change my mind, then you just uncheck them like this here, and it all goes back to normal right here. As we can see, it's still a beautiful shot outside. Hit set, and you're all good to go. So play around with that and customize this to your liking and preferences. And then lastly, we have login settings, status LED light, like I have mentioned on the back of your camera, that would disable that little LED light on the back of the camera. Network, home wireless network, SSID, and system right there. All right, let's go ahead and look at playback. From this menu here, we hit the top left, and let's go ahead and look at our recording list. So our recording list is right here, but you can change the date right here. And I had notifications off for a few days, but let's go ahead and take a look at September 4th here. Let's go ahead and flip back, and this is where you would find all of your settings here. Let's try to find a nice juicy one that has some good action here. All right, let's go ahead and look at playback here as we see this van with ladders on the top, crystal clear, but I wanna back it up because I want to show you right there, boom, it picks it up even before it comes into frame on the left-hand side. Let's see that once again, it picks it up even before it does come into frame. Beautiful sunset shot as it picks it up very clearly as it cruises by. Absolutely stunning playback, crystal clear. Alrighty, I want to show you a more of a overcast day and what the camera looks like as well. Not to mention, show you a little bit more of the digital zoom in here. As we can see here, digitally zooming in, it does get a little pixelated, but definitely a great job at zooming in as well. You can go ahead and pinch your fingers on that. Zoom in and out to your preference. Well guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it has helped you make an informed decision. Panasonic has come out with a great camera, not to mention the app as well. They've done a great job, a lot of awesome features. Just like all my videos, guys, in the description box below is gonna be the link for this exact same product. Pick one up yourself, read more about it, please, just like all my videos. Please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about, but if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe on your way out. I will see you on the next video. My name is Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.